Assalamu alaikum guys, hope you guys are all well, uh, hope everyone's safe. Uh, yes, I am in a different setting now and that is because I am home. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I reached back a couple of days ago and uh, all is well. I hope you guys are all safe, hope everyone's doing well at home. So I hope everyone's Muharram went well too. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you, I know you've seen the title and you've clicked on this video obviously to see footage in Denmark and I'm in UK right now, but you'll understand why after I explain. I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight as to what you're going to watch right now so that you understand um, from the vlog before so basically what happened was initially i'd set a plan to basically do daily vlogs every day so that um you guys can see an update every day to see how how the journey is going but um due to some un un uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances that couldn't happen and it just it didn't pan out how i wanted it to pan out but anyways we move on so what i've done now is basically what i decided to do was to basically put the footage that i had um, from the four or five days that I managed to record together. So what you're seeing now is basically that. It's a footage of all that put together. Uh, and uh, basically, um, uh, my plan was to record every day, like I said. But I, like, I, I think after the fourth and or fifth day, I can't remember when exactly, it got so busy. Like there was literally no, every time I wanted to pull out the camera, I just had no time because, and the, the routine was getting quite the same pretty much after the fourth fifth day it was just like i mean me and me some were going to sleep at like 4 a.m every day so we'd just be do, like literally we'd pray for you and go to sleep and then wake up late the next day and then it's the same thing again go to the mosque come back the practice pray for you and go to bed so it, i didn't i didn't want the vlogs to get boring as well i didn't like i didn't want the footage to be the same every single day so uh but i'm still learning and i hope you guys uh, are still uh, enjoying the content uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy the content. If you do enjoy the content, then please like, share and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I am planning to do more stuff like if you guys do enjoy uh, the vlogs, then just please comment below or show your support by subscribing and put, and tell me what I can do to improve. Or if you've got any other feedback, then uh, then please put it in the comments and uh, inshallah, I'll take that forward. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the feedback I've had in general. Uh, I, I really appreciate it and uh, may um, may Allah subhanahu wa bless you all. And uh, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. But enjoy the enjoy the video. Assalamu alaikum, guys. How's it going, man? Here's to a new day today. Uh, we literally just got up. Um, I don't even know. Misa, what time is it today? Right now, to be to be exact, it's. 12.39 There you go, it's 12.39 guys, we had a long night last night We ended up just, to be fair, we ended up just preparing for stuff that we're going to do in Muharram And then and then we ended up going to sleep a bit late, we ended up going to sleep at like 3 o'clock in the morning uh, I woke up this morning a bit earlier, well, not early, but I woke up at about 11 To just sort out some post stats which should be coming out tomorrow, hopefully, inshallah Regarding my uh, album in Muharram um, And then that's it, we we've got some we've got today's the first day of Brochu Bushai so we've got a long day ahead of us today so today's the first mud list that we're going to be reciting get me and Muslim together so <clears throat> in the world we haven't even eaten now so we're going to go eat then we're going to go and then we're going to eat then we have to go get a few things like me and Muslim both didn't bring adapters so yeah we didn't bring any adapters um, so we can't plug in our phones like we haven't, we haven't we've been struggling to put our phones on charge I've got a laptop that and I've got a lot of work to do I can't put that on charge uh, my phone that I'm recording on right now is like half working half not working guys big commitment seriously big commitment his phone's been so messed up so yesterday before we left the UK his phone dropped and the timing was so wrong that it kind of dropped in between But big time commitment. His phone's been having some. Literally, yeah, he's having spaz attacks. <laughs> he's been calling random, people. random people, random times without even touching the phone. Without, I'm not even touching the phone. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I'm on, I'm on the phone to my mom. He was sitting there next to me at, uh, last night when we were eating, and I'm getting a call from him. <laughs> Are you calling me? <laughs> my phone wasn't even with me. <laughs> my phone was even next to me. But despite that. Now these vlogs are still coming out for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm doing it on a broken phone right now, but I'm thinking of actually getting a phone. Like me, some telling me I should just get a, either get this one fixed right now or get a temporary phone. Let's see what the options. So we, let's just phone. see now because uh, obviously expenses, you know, they don't come easy. You know what I mean? No. So uh, no, uh, definitely. But inshallah, you know, we'll, uh, 
we're gonna be I'll, what I'll do is we're gonna we're gonna go get ready and stuff now we haven't even eaten breakfast or anything and then I'll uh hopefully when I, I'll catch you when I'm on when I'm outside on the next shot yeah about to leave now for um for the uh for pulsa um we're gonna go. We're actually taking. We're gonna take the. Um, what are they called here? Tube. What's it called? What's it called? What the, the underground. Uh, yeah. Metro. Metro. Yeah. Take the metro down here. We go to the. It says gonna drop us to the Barga. Yeah. And then uh, from there we're gonna do do pulsa do duty. Uh, today's project which I so we prepared the know-how yeah. and then we're gonna come back home and then uh, we're gonna do uh, we might go outside inshallah because you know in Denmark the the chicken is halal uh, so we might go to McDeet uh, oh, yeah, De Denmark chicken is halal guys yeah, by the way guys for anyone who's come to Denmark bismillah welcome the <laughs> McD uh, chicken is halal so no worries man it's the not like UK Mackey D's bro I can go get chicken nuggets without no tension. in UK and it's halal, it's halal bro. so don't don't like pick me out, you go check it yourself. Yeah, so anyone who wants to come, Bismillah, welcome. And uh, I'll put you in touch with the list. Yeah, back later you're gonna show it. Will yeah, well, I'll, yeah, in the vlog, I'll show you the yeah. Macadies. I'll make you guys jealous. The UK, <laughs> all the UK manda. Yeah. Let's go, man. Uh, Say hello to the vlog. Oh, so yeah. I was just in a conversation with Ali Sef Nani. <laughs> very chill conversation, very nice. Um, yeah, we're just on the way. We're just gonna get, get ready now. Mackey D's tonight? Uh, yes. Well, let's see. <laughs> Mackey D's tonight? Let's see, I don't mind. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> you are having a good say no to that. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Take your, take your things and oh, I'm just gonna just keep it sharp. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, guys, you know what? I'm gonna, let me just, I need to put my hoodie on, then I'll, I'll start the vlog again. One sec. How long does it take for the bus to come next? Ah. Right. On the way to, uh, we're taking the underground. Right. Taking the metro. I'm leaving as well, and I couldn't like. It's the same bus going to Barca. Same. We just got to get off earlier, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Just go. So we're taking the. At least if Levi goes to, so obviously his dad has his own. Well, it's their family. I sort of like opened the Barca. So he obviously goes to that bar because he has to, you know, to make sure that everything's okay there and uh, keep everything organized and help his dad out as well at that bar. So he, we're just gonna get off earlier because we're very starting at a different bar. So, so let's take you outside in Denmark, show you what it's like. And the people the are really quite nice. The weather's. Really it rained, there was, a, there was a, a, st a rain, like storm here in the day, but that's where you see that, like UK, just randomly just starts falling down. Here. But the um, the people generally here are a lot nicer. Like even when I went to get the phone fixed, even when I went to get the phone fixed here, like the way the system is here, like it took half an hour to get my screen fixed and it was damaged. Ask me so. It was just half fully, an hour. I don't think you can hour. get that kind of service in the it's UK. It's fully damaged. Even if they can, there, I don't think they'll offer it to anyone. I'm holding like a selfie stick out right now. Yeah, no one's even cared. Look, I'm recording. No one's been looking at me or like in UK, someone's holding a selfie stick out and like doing like a vlog thing. <laughs> People are just gonna be like, "Oh, you coming in my way?" Oh, let's not even talk about that. Hey, Nelly, boy. What? Say yeah. Yo. Well, I said in, in UK, if you're doing this, everyone just look at you and. Yeah, yeah. Are you oh, people don't care, bro. I they mind their own business. Tell them that story. Remember that story? Wait, the first time I came to Denmark in March. Yeah. You were reciting. Oh, in the, in the metro. In the yeah. train. The train, in the metro, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the lady goes. Like loud. And the lady, what did the lady say? Well, that, she, 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 she praised you, isn't it? Yeah. She, uh, what voice you guys have? She's got a beautiful Lovely. voice. It sounds so good. Imagine oh, that. Imagine. Some, on, can you like, imagine someone doing that in the U in UK or on the tube in London? It's gonna get cursed instead. <laughs> you get looks. Yeah, you get looks. For sure. And the bus and the comments followed.
Hey guys, right, bus stop is right. Look, I can see on the screen when when it comes. <laughs> right, bus stop. <laughs> see, there's people here as well, but it's everything's like friendly here. Like friendly. nobody cares. Everyone just minding their own business. Everyone, exactly. No one's judging you. This is exactly the attitude. It's nice to have that attitude. Oh, man. I'll move here. <laughs> I feel like we're to move here, man. That's what, and that's why they say that everyone in the UK is like a lot more moody, and that's why depression is. I'm guessing. I'm guessing the depression rates in UK are more higher than the one in Denmark. Because I'm guessing. I'm guessing I don't know that stat, but. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna go to the bar. Guys. They wash the bus, the bus every night, and I'm sure they probably do that in UK, but no one knows how to look after buses in UK. And I used to take the bus in uni, yeah, and in college. Oh, it's dirty and trashy. The buses are even better here. You're on the way to the Barga, by the way. You don't have... Over here, right now in UK, you have to wear a mask and you have to wear... Um, you have to wear uh, any, like, face coverings on any, like, form of travel, like bus or uh, train or whatever. But in Denmark, you only have to wear it if it's... if, if you can't keep distance. Uh, right now the bus is empty so we don't have to really have these on i can technically take this off so, uh, so the, the situation is a lot better here but you can see why because look just look look at the roads i don't know if you can see because i can't turn the camera on the roads are a lot wider um, and there's more like it's more space it's more space it's more free it's more open like you can see a lot more if i was to See, like, if you just look behind me, you can see a lot more in this in distance compared to the UK. So, guys, uh, today's Prussian show, obviously, here at uh, Jafria Centre. Uh, over there, you can see that's the alum. So, there's like a, a jada, like a, a piece of cloth that goes onto the alum that they change every year, and it's normally on this day. That's why it's hence it's called Prussian Kushai. So, it's a, it's a sort of like tradition ritual that we do in normally Pakistani centres where you know, we recite Noha. Uh, or a uh, uh, mercy or, or salam while they're changing the uh, cloth of the uh, they're replacing the cloth of the alum to a, uh, a fresh one so inshallah over here just underneath the alum you can see that's where me and Mason will be reciting Noha Mason's holding the camera right now you can't see it but that's where we're going to be reciting Noha inshallah and today is our first time as well reciting in this center so inshallah I just thought I'd give you a bit more like some information some background but yeah it's a beautiful alum as you can see and uh, we won't be we'll be reading there in just about maybe in half an hour inshallah as you guys have just seen, uh, Abbas yeah, says, the the Thank you very much. People are very nice here, they do <laughs> keep you the way. Um, as Abbas just told you, we want to tell you that today is our first day in Idara Jafriya. We will study the first day where we are going to study. Today we will be in the first day here. So, Inshallah, I and Abbas have been in the first day. Inshallah, जो फरेरा था उसको भी इन्होंने नीचे लेके आए हैं नया फरेरा इंशाल्लाह लगेगा और उसी दौरान हम इंशाल्लाह नवा खानी भी करेंगे तो महाराज पहला दिन है पहला एक्सपीरियंस है इंशाल्लाह बीवी सबका पुरसा कबूल करें लाया में जब चांद मोहरम का आता है नजर लोगों जब चांद मोहरम का आता है नजर लोगों जरा सोचा करो किस तरह उजड़ा होगा खातून का दर लोगों जब चांद मोहरम का So we just, uh, Alhamdulillah, finished the first day of Pulsa today. First day of Pulsa. Misa's day as well. Mm. What did you think of the Pulsa today, Misa? It was good. It was a good start. Um, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We received a lot of appreciation. And yeah. Feedback. To be fair, the thing is, with, with like presentation and stuff like that, it's, it's more of like being in practice, right? Like 
That's how your right. voice comes out and we're not in practice at all but we're being open and honest about it because because of the whole situation the whole what's happening with COVID-19 and everything we haven't been in practice so not at not, all I mean look we together have recited Bursa and Noha on that level on after such a long time yeah it's been and ages vocals are just Rusty, yeah, fully. They've just been closed. Like, not, voices are not coming out closed in terms of like even like pitching and stuff like yeah. that. We're not in practice, right? So the whole process becomes yeah. like a day late or like a few, no, it takes a few days to get back into exactly. it again. Well, but Barga is really nice. Like, I can't turn the camera on, but I can turn. What are you gonna say? Yo, what is up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, I can't speak too loud right now because um, only safe now knees. She's sleeping right now, so I've got to keep it quite low so that the energy's got to be quite low. But um, yeah, we've had a mad, 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 mad day today. We just got home right now and it's currently like 1.52 a.m. So we are like completely like finished, we've just being out and about. Today was the first day we actually we started performing today at the Imam We did, yeah. So um, our voices are still not 100% because we've just not been, you know, consistently at it with all this going on, this whole virus thing. but. We had, a, we had a really good day, Alhamdulillah, we had a good day. We're back at the residence now. And uh, we're just going to literally, I just thought, I'd, you know, before I close the rug off, I just thought I'd come a video and uh, give, see what me some saying as well. Meesam, what you're saying? As I've said, you know what, you know, you guys will have seen the first vlog and you see, you know, it's been non-stop and it's been like that today as well. And I know it's not going to be any different for the next 10, 11 days or whatever it is, but... Um, Mm. It's been good. We, as as I've said, you know, we had our first performance, first bursa today. It was the Parcham Kushai, uh, which is basically where the flag is gets changed, as we told you before. Um, after that, the brothers took us out to eat, as you've seen as well. You know, quick summary. Then what you guys didn't see is um, our brother Risef introduced us to a secret. The secret. The, the secret. The main secret. The main yeah, secret. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a secret uh, meet up with That's the Sangat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, a secret meet up with the Sangat. It was very nice to meet everyone there. Yeah, they were yeah. very welcoming. Very, we, we actually had a very nice, jolly conversation. It was very yeah. nice. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, as well, it's, it's nice to, when you come to these trips and you're fo constantly focusing on Noah's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you're going to read, it's nice, just so, have a, it's yeah. nice to have like, just yeah. a little time. just. To, social time to talk and meet new people especially we're in a different country right so we don't know what it's like here but but alhamdulillah alhamdulillah all good so far it's been good so far inshallah but guys uh, like we're gonna close inshallah yeah we carry on. we're gonna close the vlog off today the first vlog should be out now so if you haven't if you're watching this vlog and you haven't seen the first one make sure you go check that one out and if you're enjoying the content and you and you know if you really really uh enjoy getting you want to see more then make sure you subscribe hit the not notifications bar below and also like and share the video, please, if you are. But yeah, guys, from my end, peace out. And everyone from here. Yeah, I Ali, Ali. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. No, no, Yo, guys, welcome to the new vlog. Oh, Today's no. vlog. As, what are we finding out? We need to find mental. We need to find mental. 100%. Uh, in English, What's that? What um, do you have, it's called, it's like, you know, what? what? You know, we, we want to take steam. We want to do steam. We want oh, yeah. to take oh, yeah. Yeah. So to clear up menthol, yeah. to clear so up. So in UK, we have something called Vicks. Yes, but we don't have a Vicks. We have a menthol uh, crystal. Crystals, yeah, we can put it inside the yeah. water. That's that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I don't know English. I'm here. Yeah, I know everyone knows English here. Yeah. yeah, of course. Guys, everyone knows English here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know you were recording. Nice. Yeah. I've stopped the vlog. We we'll woke up a bit late today. Yeah. So basically, we're getting Vicks for our throats. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's it. Feet. Yes. So body tool. Yes. Say yes. so we. I'm not gonna go down with you. Say, let me do this. How much is it? Can I have some Oreos? No. What did you get? Yeah, so guys, basically, we came this morning, we got a bit late because obviously, we had a long, long night last night. Yeah, uh, and then today, we woke up. Um, early said Nani uh, got some beautiful breakfast. We had like oh, it was uh, amazing. I don't know what do you think? It's like Iranian, so it was Iranian bread, Iranian naan. Then she made 
She made a curry of uh, it's it's of potato, so it's like we would call it <coughs> alu bujia. Alu bujia. Alu bujia. Alu bujia. And then there was chicken with it. So it's really nice. Proper nice. Very nice. Breakfast. Very nice breakfast. Bad breakfast now. And basically, we obviously because it's Muharram, yeah. Our voices are gone, like not gone, but they. We've been out of practice. We haven't read for so long, so, so we have to get these uh, menthols. These menthols, basically, what you do with these, you put them in like hot water. Uh, it's just they're very strong, so you don't need. You just like it's like it's like crystals, basically. You put like one like string of a crystal in water, and the steam. You take that in, and when you take that steam in. It sort of like cleanses your throat yeah, and everything clears like up all, all the your phlegm and whatever's yeah. clogged up. So, inshallah, this is gonna do the trick. But if this doesn't do the trick, then basically. we'll have to work another match. <laughs> <laughs> basically, screwed. But by but yeah, we take, we're gonna take you on a journey. Helps. We're gonna go, what are we doing now, Sid? We're going to go in the store and buy some things for the home. Get a drink or whatever. Uh, a drink it? and some chips maybe. That's it. In the day, we can, we just, we can, if the day is our time to actually just chill. Chill. Maybe we'll practice later on in the evening. Yeah. But in the day, like after we've woken up and stuff, we just chill, relax. And <laughs> so you're dieting. You know what it is? I'll be very honest with you. The people that I've seen this right now, this shape I am right now is the worst in the whole entire life. I've lost a bit of weight because I went Germany. Okay, I'm going to buy it. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm going to buy it. Same, same, paid, paid. Same to same. Same to same, same paid. I need to find it, bro. It's Kaba. Yeah, it's that one. Well, I just got back now. Did our shopping. Relax for a bit, chill for a bit. And then. Go to the barga. Can you do the menthol in a bit? Guys, as you can see from my face, I'm not been crying, don't worry. I ain't been crying. We did. I just done steam, and me still doing the steam as well. Wait, I'll show you. <laughs> That's the menthol we got earlier. We got some menthol oil earlier, and we put it into like boiling water, hot boiling water, and then we just like inhale it, <clears throat> and it clears out all the phlegm and everything. You can probably tell the way I'm speaking. So tonight we should be on point for sure. So, uh, yes, me sir. Slow the calm, slow. We here. Yeah, the two, yeah well, So guys, we're here first. It's first Muharram today, so we just got to the bargain now. So we just um. We just literally just got here now, we've just been told to sit in this room, so um, yeah, so literally this is normally the process is that um, we just literally uh, sort of, we use maybe five or ten minutes to come sit and go through the rehearsal, rehearsal the know that we've yeah. chosen, we just prepare for it, making sure that all the words, um, just giving you a bit of insight, a bit of insight of how it actually works, we go through the tune, the words, we go, we have a backup know-how, just in case it doesn't work out. There's a lot of thought process that goes into it, it's a lot a of lot. thinking. But Alhamdulillah, this is what we love to do, so, you know. 100%, I mean, as I said, from the, from the big thing to the smallest, even even the pronunciation of words, you know, say for instance, you have the word, uh, you know, Bibi Zainab's name, Zainab, and you could even do Zainab, or you can do Zainab. It's the smallest so thing. The smallest thing, but at the end of the day, it makes such it's a big impact. Because there's two of us, isn't it? It's two of us, guys, so like, if one, if one person says Zainab, and if I was to say Zainab, it means for Zainab, he stretched, he stretched the Zainab, it's going to come out different when we're reciting together. It so comes out as an error because at the end of the day, though we're just two, but it's considered as a group recitation. Exactly. So, so yeah, so it's just we got to take all these things into consideration and we'll go in there and then we'll, um, we'll recite inshallah and then maybe afterwards we'll, there's going to be, so normally we have food as well after, which a lot of, obviously Shias know as well, but just for the non Shias that might, might be watching this. Yeah, we normally have some sort of um, arrangement of food there that you'll get after the program. Yeah. And then, uh, and then it's the, it's that's it's the same thing every day. But every day gets a lot more not stressful, but a lot more um, hectic. It gets hectic because um, as it comes closer to the days that we commemorate, especially after the fifth night of Muharram, um, it actually makes the the nights get longer. The recitations become longer because of 
you know the um, the events that happened obviously it goes more into detail of how every person passed away and we'll be telling you about these kind of things in the future okay. but right now our main focus is just to make sure that we get our recitations right Man and ho- hopefully after that we are a bit hungry I'm not going to lie we only had yeah, we're, we're so starving <laughs> we're, waiting for, we're, waiting we're starving but, but, uh, we've got a munch after this yeah. we're, waiting for, we're waiting for Niaz as well like. but yeah guys I hope you're enjoying the content man I'm trying to do as much as I can and today's vlog like sometimes I don't want to record because I'm just thinking that we're going to we're talking about the same things or yeah. it's getting repetitive so I'm trying to do as much as I can to get to make these vlogs more exciting for you guys to watch and more uh, and more insightful so just but I uh, think just to enlighten like go further on that though it might be the same thing but at the end of the day it's a it's a daily cycle for us as well yeah exactly you know it's just different recitations every day different uh, commemorations that we do so and at the end of the day the whole purpose of this is for you to be part of the journey that mm, exactly we are on right now thing. so we're just we're taking you through our experience completely it's a, and for us obviously being in Denmark it's a new experience but we've done this we've done this before yeah. alhamdulillah we, exactly. that, we had the opportunities but it's our first time doing it together as well yeah. so, so it's another thing for us but yeah we're gonna go in soon now so uh, we'll catch you on the next scene definitely so guys we had the pizza place this is it let's check it out Sicilia we're not Italian oh that's <laughs> so we'll be that proper Italians, the guys in the Asia. <laughs> oh, they should be there. But there is the cup, the bottle, and everything. Uh, how hungry are you? I can eat. Oh, you can eat. I can eat. Hey, that's the truth. I can eat. Hey, yeah, that's true. You gotta be honest. I can eat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna, if he's asking me for hungry, I'm not going to say, um, no, I'm alright. I'm going to say I'm hungry and it might not be food. Exactly. You get me? I've got to be honest about that. Otherwise, you're just doing zulm on yourself. Yeah, exactly, man. We're going to be hungry tonight. We've we got a story to tell you, but we'll tell you after. We're not in the same place we were before, we're in a different place. So, but stay tuned. Stay tuned, you'll, get, you'll see everything. <laughs> so, a good host. So, that's Muhammad Ali. I hope that. It's a good host. This is uh, a Hassan. Hassan. good host. I'll show you the pizza when it's done. Assalamu alaikum guys, how's it going man? Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, after we had that pizza last night, it's, it's, it's obviously been, the, it's the next day now since we've had that pizza. Just ended up being a hectic, hectic night, I didn't get a chance to pull out camera and record. But, um, but yeah, I'm closing off the vlog and I'm just about to start the new vlog as well. So um, if you enjoyed the vlog, um, like, make sure you comment and make sure, make sure to subscribe. Also, I'll get my words mixed up, aren't I? Um, Make sure you hit the notifications uh, bell below as well. But I hope I hope you guys are enjoying the content, and we are going to keep this up. Me, so just got up now himself. We're going to get ready for a new fresh day. Go on. Uh, so, guys, we're here. Uh, 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 restaurant, restaurant, can name? The village, Pakistan restaurant. The village. The, the village. 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 The, the village, uh, Pakistan restaurant in Denmark. Uh, this is uh, Ali Uncle's uh, shop. Uncle Pali <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pali. <laughs> <laughs> so he's. Uh, we thank him very much. He came, he's accommodated us. Um, very, very, very nice food, very nice food. So if you live in Denmark or visit Denmark, then make sure you come visit the village. And uh, this drink as well, it's passion, everything mixed up. It's so nice. So, so nice. So there's, there's, there's mango, passion fruit, and pineapple in there.